Hey, Brandon here with your weekly update. A little bit longer this time because we're in the middle of a crowdfunding campaign, um, if you haven't noticed. So, um, hey, first up, Wind and Truth is at, bing, 80% on the 3.0 revision. Don't get too excited because there's one more revision after this, but slowly but surely moving through that. Uh, goal is to turn that in um, by the end of this month. I am currently about mm, one day behind. Um, but I might be able to catch that up. I hope that I will be able to. Uh, Skyward Legacy, my revision is at bing, 53%. Um, moving along on that uh, at, a, at a decent clip. Um, so what else we got going on? Well, uh, we have 10 days left in our backer kit campaign for the uh, Words of Radiance Leatherbound and the new Secret Project. Um, I hope you all are looking forward to that. I get to show off some things today. We have some... Pins! These are prototypes of the pins um, that we'll be doing. Um, I'm sure the team will uh, give you some better pictures of those. Uh, a lot of these pins are looking really cool. So if you uh, if you like little spren pins, you can get them. Um, we will be doing a uh, announcement about the secret project on March 21st. So on YouTube and in the newsletter, you will be able to get uh, the initial excerpts of that. So, and the title, or there's two titles I'm bouncing around between, so it'll be one of those um, coming then. So later this week, you'll be able to find out. So either, like I said, watch on this channel to get the me reading it or sign up for the newsletter if you just want to get the text uh, rather than the the Brandon version of the audiobook. <laughs> um, the final book will not be read by me. Don't worry. Uh, store update. We have uh, the Bridge 4 patch back in stock, the uh, the updated one. So, boop. Um, if you've been waiting for one of those, we have that. And we have... Um, boop. The... Uh, for each of the uh, Wax and Wayne books, we did a broadsheet that was a giveaway. Um, this one we did at Dragon Steel 2022. Um, if you want to collect the set, they threw up the extras um, on the store, so you can pick those up there. So uh, if you've been waiting for that, you know who you are. Um, these broadsheets are kind of fun, little, uh, little uh, in-world things. Basically, if you've read the book, it's the broadsheet that's sliced up um into different pages through the book we do full-blown uh unfoldable unfoldable kind of poster style uh broadsheets of those so um convention reminder so exhibitor and volunteer applications are still open exhibitor applications close on april 5th so if you're wanting to exhibit let us know uh we changed something up this year we've added an indie row for our exhibitors. This is uh, some smaller booths that are that have their own different uh, color scheme to the, the drapes and things, so people can find it easily. And with these, you don't have to exhibit all the days, so you can sign up and ba basically, if you wanna go to the convention two days, but you want to exhibit one of the days, uh, you can just get one of these booths for one day or two days or all three days. Uh, just gives you a little bit more flexibility, a little bit um, a cheaper price. Um, so that you can uh, so you can try out exhibiting without having to commit to the whole thing. So uh, Indie Row will be a hopefully very popular thing and a cool thing we'll have at the convention this year. Um, hey, the Sunlit Man is out. The um, the fourth secret project, the the last one from our initial Kickstarter. We have released the mass market edition or the commercial edition, I should say. Their uh, their version of the hardcover, Tor and um, Galances. And it's a bestseller on the New York Times, USA Today, and the Sunday Times. So, uh, yay. Uh, thanks for picking up copies of that. Um, it's quite cool that the books that we sold on a Kickstarter have come out and sold just as well as one of my normal books in the commercial edition. Uh, I know that uh, Tor and Galantz are very happy about that. Uh, it's it's kind of one of these interesting things. Um, these books have gotten a lot of attention, and a lot of people are enjoying them. So if you haven't gotten a copy, hey, it's out. Um, two last little things here. Uh, Locus Magazine, which is the uh, professional industry magazine for science fiction and fantasy. Basically, it's one of the places you go to to learn about... Um, you know, the industry itself. Interviews with authors, uh, I think, would be of interest to everybody, but a lot of it is focused toward uh, writers and working writers, and um, they 
um, have started doing fundraisers and auctions every year just to help keep the magazine afloat in today's market. So I've put um, a copy of the Secret Projects up for auction. They're all signed. Uh, one personalized. So you buy, basically buy a pack of four and get one personalized. Uh, it ends tomorrow. Uh, um, just so you know, uh, Locus is something that I donate to directly myself. Uh, just I think it's good for the community. It's good for authors, uh, for us to have an industry magazine. So uh, if that's something that interests you, uh, go check out their fundraiser. Uh, last thing is our live stream. So this is on March 22nd at 6 p.m. Mountain Daylight Time. It'll be an hour long. And since we're releasing the title of the secret project on the Thursday before and putting out sample chapters, we'll be able to talk about those on the live stream. And so we're inviting the artist for this. Now, each of these secret projects, we take an artist or uh, a couple artists, and we let them do kind of an artist's edition. We let them do all this design work that they want to do and do the art the way that they want. Uh, we like this with our hardcovers. It gives them all an individual feel. And we, we try to vary the artists. We're using a new artist this time. Her name is Esther Heatalani uh, Kandari. And she'll be joining us, as will Isaac, on that one. So come and chat with Esther. Uh, we might have art to show off. We're not sure yet. If not, uh, we'll show off some of her previous art. And uh, we'll chat with her for an hour. So uh, show up and we'll be taking comments and questions from the chat this time uh, rather than a separate folder or a separate thread. So anyway, uh, thank you as always for hanging out with me for the weekly update. Uh, I'll be back next week for kind of the last week countdown uh, as our crowdfunding comes to an end.